Hey everybody, Boomslang here. Welcome to my channel. So it's Sunday afternoon, and uh, I'm going to start doing some work on the garage. Not a lot. Um, so first of all, you see I have all my PPE on, uh, eye protection, uh, respiratory protection, skin protection, just because the old insulation is old insulation and it may be subject to you know fibers floating fibers airborne fibers but let's go ahead and let's just take a quick look at the garage now it's not a big garage as you can see it's just a small garage one car garage i believe it's you know uh 14 by 27 something like that i mean i mean they're, they're, but that's it i mean there's the riding lawnmower um, so there's a bunch of stuff in here that uh, is mine and stuff that is not mine belongs to my son. But as you can see, that's where the window used to be. And the, the lady from the gas company says you can't have a window because it's right above the meter. So I had to yank it out. Um, I have a small heater here to heat the garage for now. Um, and just some lighting. And that's where my, gun used, uh, my son used to load all his ammo and stuff like that and here's some of the stuff from the philly lot that still has to be gone through these are those complete sets did you guys see on that video so anyway uh that's it um that's the garage i'm gonna start right here i believe and i'm gonna replace this piece here i already pulled this out it kind of looked just like this really ratty you know looking stuff and so I'm just going to replace it with new, better stuff. So, through the magic of motion pictures, PFM, pure freaking magic, I'm going to be doing editing, and you will see what the finished product will look like. And then you just use your imagination for the rest of the garage as I go. There's stuff that has to be ripped out yet. But anyway, that's it. We'll see you guys later oh and one thing i forgot guys so when you're doing insulation you need to know what r rating you want to use all right i'm using this um pink panther stuff owens corning pink eco touch it's got an r rating of r13 it's faced which means it has the paper on it, it can staple in between the joists We'll get stapled in between here, put it in there. And um, the R rating is an insulation factor, uh, like it gives you your, your you know, percentage of insulation, but also you can't throw like an R38 in here because the R38 is for like attics and stuff like that. So 38 is the thickness as well, helps with like the thickness. So in this case, if you're doing um, two by fours, which mine are, so you get like three and a half inches of insulation to go inside your two by fours. And then you got to pick out uh, spacing between these uh, 15, 16 inches. And anyway, so it's two and a half inches worth of insulation going in here. So that's why R13 is being used. All right. Now I think I may have uh, answered that one little question. Do your research, guys. Plenty of YouTube videos out there. People do their how-tos and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to get back in here and I'm going to fill that whole thing up right there. Okay, guys. So, the first bat's in. We'll, we'll get a look at that from top to bottom. All right. Second bat is in. Now, when you when, sometimes you come across things like this. Right, like you see this pipe here hanging, no problem. I can tuck in right now, I can tuck in behind that. But this one, this pipe that leads to the outside, uh, is a problem. So, the way you get around those problems is you have to actually make you got to make a cut, you got to cut your uh, insulation and cut it to fit. That's why I bought these pliers uh, or scissors. They're designed for exactly this. And 
that should be good. Let's see. And then you got to work it around like that. So now it's around. I can finish tucking it in. Get it behind there. Now, as you guys can see, at the bottom, you can't see yet, but you will be. So at the bottom here, I have a gap. There's a gap. So I've got to cut individual pieces of uh, insulation and put it in there to fill those gaps. But that's the nature of the beast. You don't want to pack this stuff down tight. You want it in there just loose, fitting loosely. You don't want to jam it in there. Let it fit loose. Now, I bought the stapler to staple them in, but you know what? They're staying pretty good on their own, so uh, I don't really see a need to go ahead and staple them in like the old ones were. Just put the drywall right over top of that. Boom, good to go. So, two pieces in and uh, looking good. So, we'll move on to the next one. See you guys. After the next edit, peace. Okay, so today um, wasn't too uneventful. I got uh, six pieces of, of insulation in. Still have to do some more on the bottom. But that's two pieces right here. And then skip over this old stuff. I'll do all that little trimming stuff later because We'll use the whole sheets and whatever's left over, then I'll uh, cut up. And there's number three and four. And then five and six are right there. So now I gotta do, I gotta, now I gotta cut one in half to fit it into these two slots. So I gotta get two slots there. And a small patch there that's going to be fun and that one's going to be fun and the board the board doesn't go there it's just it's just laying there and then like I said I have this little slot here little slot there little slot there so I gotta cut another one two small ones up there these will get filled in, but I'm thinking about putting a, an AC unit in here, a window light type unit in there to blow cool air in the summer. And then this other half will be blocked off. And, you know, around here, I'll probably just tuck it underneath here like they did before, all the way up. And then some small patches over there and down. Tear this off. Fix that all up and repair the ceiling. The ceiling's got some holes in it for some reason. Well, I know that that was a plumbing plumbing leak we had. I had to fix that. So yeah, other than that, then it's just uh, do that corner over there that needs it, and then rip all that stuff out. That shelving, get that out of here, and basically just clean it all up. Replace the garage door eventually, because it just, I mean, lets tons of cold air in around the garage door. We'll wall that off, insulate it, rip the garage door off. We'll just nail the garage door on the outside and make it look like a garage door. I could do that too. Either way. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'll be posting this up and we'll see how it goes. Until then, peace. We'll see you insulation in the next one.